in this video we are going to talk about another machine learning algorithm and this is also a supervised machine learning algorithm and this is the linear regression algorithm this is the simplest machine learning algorithm that is available not only in data science but also in terms of tableau as well there are the fewest steps that we need to follow to create prediction based upon this algorithm okay so here is my um, workbook on tableau public whom i have named linear regression study slash rs and uh, there is this sheet called linear regression in which all the analysis has been done already but we won't be using this we would be creating our own analysis so let me just clear this sheet before that let's just talk about this data source so here i have the data source in which the number of hours is given that is how many hours a student studies and then what is the score that he has got it is all given okay so there are um, 25 records that we get in this data set this is a very simple data set a very simple example so that we are able to easily understand that how a machine learning algorithm the linear regression algorithm is going to work okay so here is a sheet which i have named linear regression and how are we going to work with it let's just see that these are the two measures that we have that is the hours and the scores so we can get them over here that is the number of hours and the number of scores it doesn't matter where they are that means you if you want you can just swap them as well but it won't matter the thing that's going to matter is this aggregate measures you can just remove them so this is the number of the hours studied and this is the scores uh, that the student has get if you see there is a linear trend between the two that means if the student has studied for a more number of hours then he is getting a better score right similarly if you just swap those values uh, the trend is same that means it doesn't matter with swapping because uh, in linear regression uh, we have something that is called as uh, the correlation between the two values so this is a positive correlation that means as the hours increase the scores is also increasing and the positive correlation is same whether you compare hours versus scores or you uh, compare scores versus hours right so it doesn't matter uh what does matter is this uh, degree of positive correlation like you can see uh there is uh, a simple line that you can uh, draw and those points would be just working on that line right but still there are a few uh, here and there points which uh, of course are there to make sure that our model doesn't get a 100% accuracy and we are just going to ignore them okay now uh this is what we have got if i just change its type to a line so this is the kind of the line that we are getting you see it's not a perfectly straight line but still it's giving us a positive correlation right so what we do is we go to analytics for the linear regression algorithm i'm talking about and this is the model the trend line model which we are going to use you can just uh make sure your mouse is clicked and you drag it now there are these five types of uh, uh, trend lines that you can create and how are you going to choose which one to create you see there is this line that is given with these points you have to compare it with what your points are going to look like right so let me just drop it for a second and for a better view let's just change it to automatic so these are the points now if you just grab your line you see your points are looking like this that is a linear trend if you see your points are showing showing a curve kind of a trend or an exponential trend or polynomial trend or a power kind of a trend you have to choose your line accordingly so i'm just going to drop it into this linear because this is the trend being shown by my points right you see this is the linear trend line that i have got now uh we can just select this so if you just select this this is something that we are getting that is 9.7758 multiplied by rs plus something and then we are getting the scores so what is this this is the equation of the line if you have uh, learned about the line equation then you might recall that uh, the equation of a line is in a form y equals mx plus c right so this is exactly what we are getting y is scores that we are trying to predict uh m is the slope of the line which is given as 9.7758 multiplied by the x parameter that is the parameter which we have which is the r's parameter 
plus c that is the intercept the intercept value is this 2.48367 so the basic work in the linear regression algorithm is to find this value of m and c now once we have find out the value of m and c if we just provide any value of x or any of the values of the r's then it would give us the corresponding value of scores of course that won't be 100% accurate but it would be pretty good assumption made by our machine learning algorithm so this is the prediction that the algorithm will do here there is one more value known as the r squared value that is 0.952948 that means the accuracy of the model is pretty high uh, that means uh, higher the uh, r squared value the better the quality of the model is that means it's almost closer to one that means it is a very good model okay the r square value uh, is uh, the more it's closer to one the better the model then we have p value which should be less than 0 0.0001 which is uh, again another indication that our model is working pretty good okay now we have this option to edit uh, if you just select on edit here what we can do is we can just select the different types of the lines if you want a logarithmic line so you selected logarithmic so it's changed into a logarithmic line if you select an exponential this change into an exponential line you select it on power it changed into the line of a power if you select on a polynomial you can provide a degree right now it's three if you provide two so that would be changed into a power of degree two if you select like five to change into uh, of degree five okay so if you see uh, this degree five looks pretty much more um, bear more uh, suited than the linear regression like this this line okay so i'm just gonna click on okay and now if i just select on this r square value of course it's better but the model is being overfitted because i know for these data points that we are getting this line is considered to be good it's going uh, it's considered correct that's why i can work with it for this data but in the case we are working with any of the unseen data then those points might lie on the line and we might get incorrect results so this would uh, hamper the overall accuracy of the model thus uh, this is the concept of overfitting which i have shown to you now what i'm going to do is edit it and get it back to a linear model or a linear line and uh, what i'm going to do is make sure the show confidence bands is there and click on okay now these confidence bands show that this might be the range of the errors like whichever points line that they are also gonna be considered okay uh now if you want to change the way the line looks you can of course change it from here but i'm not gonna go that way now if you right click there is this option to describe trend line now this describe trend line gives us the values such as the p values and the equation of the line so this is the line equation if you want you can just copy this data and paste it um, or show it to others now here is this coefficients value that is the term is r's and uh, the value of the intercept and what is the standard error in that of course nothing is 100 percent accurate that's what the machine learning algorithm also understands that's why it's giving us a measure of standard error that what is the error it thinks has occurred in this particular kind of model and it accepts that error and it is showing the extent of that particular error you can close it next what we have if we just right click over here we have uh, this described trend model now what is this described trend model it gives us a lot of values a lot of information like a linear trend model is computed for scores given r's the model may be significant at p less than equal to 0 0.05 so whenever the value of p is less than or equal to 0 0.05 then that model is significant right now if you see the value of p is less than 0 0.0001 that means this model is significant okay and um, uh, this model what does it does it scores are computed if the number of r's are given there is a lot of information given about the model that we would be uh, seeing in the next video in this particular described trend model dialog box thanks for watching this video